Stan Gibalisco here. I'd like to talk a little more about how to multiply binomials. In the first episode of this, um, I guess, two-part series, I showed you some very simple binomials and the principle by which you multiply them. When you need to multiply two binomials by each other, two, uh, a sum of two elements and another sum of two elements, you multiply this by that, and then add this times that, and then add this times that, and then add this times that. In this particular case, I guess I should make it clear, that's a minus 3x. 2x plus 3, that quantity, times the quantity minus 3x plus 4. Let's just uh, go ahead and work that out step by step. 2x times a minus 3x will give us a minus 6x squared. 2x times 4 will give us 8x. 3 times a minus 3x will give us a minus 9x. And 3 times 4 will give us 12. Let's simplify that a little. We have minus 6x squared plus 8x plus a minus 9x, or 8x minus 9x, so that would be minus x plus 12. That is the trinomial now, three elements in a sum. Now suppose that we decide to set this equal to 0. So we have an equation, minus 6x squared minus x plus 12 equals 0. Minus 6x squared minus x plus 12 equals 0. This is an example of what we call a quadratic equation, and you will encounter these extensively in algebra. Quadratic equations. That means an equation of the second power. Where the quad comes out of that is absolutely past me. I have no clue. But they call this kind of thing a quadratic equation. Well, suppose you want to solve this quadratic equation for those values of x that will cause it to equal 0. What can you do? Well, if you're lucky enough to use your intuition and factor that back into these two binomials, you can get two equations. 2x plus 3 equals 0 and minus 3x plus 4 equals 0. Those are single element equations, single variable equations, without any powers. So they call these simple linear equations, or first order equations. Those are pretty easy to solve, and when you get into algebra, you will learn how to do that. You can find the value of x for which 2x plus 3 equals 0. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, 2x plus 3 equals 0. Now if you've had any algebra or even pre-algebra, you should be able to figure out you can subtract 3 from either side of this equation to get 2x equals minus 3. Then you can divide either side of this equation by 2 to get x equals minus 3 halves. All right, that is the first solution of two solutions out to the quadratic equation we originally started with. x equals minus 3 halves. If you plug minus 3 halves into that original equation, 
which I have now forgotten, but you can go back earlier in the video and see it. If you plug x equals minus 3 over 2 into that, you will get 0 for the whole equation, because one of the two factors equals 0, and anything times 0 equals 0. The other one, minus 3x plus 4 equals 0. Let's subtract 4 from either side. Then we get minus 3x equals minus 4. Now we can multiply this equation through. That means multiply either side or both sides by minus 1 to get rid of these minus signs. 3x equals 4. And finally, we can divide through by 3 to get x equals 4 thirds. That is the other solution to the original quadratic equation, which I have now forgotten, but which you can go back and watch the early part of this video and see it. Those two solutions, uh, those two values of x that we have found, either one of them will cause the whole equation to equal zero. And therefore, either one of them is a solution. x equals uh, minus 3 halves, or x equals 4 thirds. And now, I will take the liberty to change the title of this video on you to quadratic equations. Part 1. That is what you will see as the title of this video in the playlist uh, to which it is assigned. Stan Jibalisco signing off, promising more quadratic equations. Until next time, so long.